startups have a good chance of using cloud technologies. For smaller startups, hosting the data and application in the cloud can be an affordable option that grows with your business as needed. It's not just for large enterprises anymore. We had the opportunity to chat with Jason Allen, the cloud practice lead for CDW Canada, who has been working in the IT industry for the last 25 years, working around the world and in many different industries, helping businesses discover what it means to leverage the right technology to meet their business goals and ensure great technology service experiences for their customers. Jason specializes in leading innovative information technology engagements based on years of experience designing and building world-class public and private cloud solutions with a keen focus on application modernization and data protection. In this podcast, Jason discussed what works and more importantly does not work when designing and building technology outcomes and shared his unique experience and knowledge with regard to cloud technology for SMEs. Hi, Jason. On behalf of Canadian SME, I'd like to welcome you to our small business podcast. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me join. I'm looking forward to our discussion. Likewise, I'm very pleased uh, for you to be joining us with today. Now, Jason, today's podcast, in today's podcast, we'll focus on benefits of using cloud technology for small businesses. Now, the cloud is an increasingly popular technology for startup companies to use as it can be more cost effective and easily scaled. Now, Jason, as the cloud practice lead for CDW Canada and with an experience of over 25 years in the IT industry, working around the world and in many different industries, why do you think SMBs are moving to the cloud and how can cloud services be more cost effective for SMBs? Absolutely. That's an excellent question. And, and there's so many different answers to it, but primarily one of the great reasons for moving to the cloud, especially as a small business, is that you're able to deliver solutions and services to your end customers in a very quick and, and as uh, you know, you, you hear in, in the corporate space, agile ways. So you can, you can pull together collaboration tools for your internal workers um, very quickly. So Office 365 is a fantastic example of a, of a online real-time collaboration tool that gives your team the ability to productively work online without having to be in the same office necessarily. So from a, from a co-worker perspective, it's easy to get up and running. You don't have to spend time understanding what your CapEx requirements are potentially going to be around building out a data center. You can leverage some online tools to really uh, ensure that you get off the ground very quickly and then your team can start working on what are those services you want to bring to market um, and, st and what are the right cloud-based tools to do so. Right. Now you're right. There are different features and advantages that can make it worth the consideration. But Jason, what are the different options that SMBs have when they're looking to get started in the cloud? Like, how do you determine which cloud services are best for a particular business? Yeah, absolutely. And this, there is so many cloud tools out there. I mean, the market knows that cloud first is not only for large enterprise, but specifically for small enterprise who want to, get to gain an edge on the competitors. They want, want to be able to, to understand, you know, what, what cloud tools are out there, um, what, which clouds, you know, do what they want to go with, do they want to invest in. Primarily when you think about, you know, the, the top tier cloud providers, let's talk about Azure, AWS, GCP. They're primarily the biggest cloud vendors that CDW focuses on. Um, and their product suites, they do compete with each other, but then they have some edges over each other as well. Um, and it really depends on what products you're wanting to bring to market. Uh, if you want to uh, look at deep dive analytics and AI, you know, they all, Azure, AWS and GCP all have really strong plays in that market, but then it depends exactly on what service you want to bring to your customers, which you know, platform provides you with the best insights into your data. Um, and working with a company like CDW is a really great place to start so that our architects can clearly understand what are the services you want to bring to market. And we can help you understand, well, what tools and services in cloud work the best to provide the outcome you're looking for. 
Now, the cloud has proven itself to be an efficient and productive way for small businesses of all the, of all sizes, I guess, from small mom and pop shops up through global enterprises with thousands or even millions in revenue. Now, Jason, how can the cloud help businesses increase efficiency and productivity? Like, can the cloud be used to improve collaboration among, among employees? Absolutely, absolutely. When you're talking about collaboration specifically, as I mentioned before, um, Office 365 is a great example of a product suite where you can leverage, uh, you know, your Word documents. Uh, you can collaborate together as uh, as a business, no matter where you are in the world, with you know your Word documents, your Excel documents, um, any documents that you need to share collaboratively. You can host SharePoint. Um, and there's various tools that are very similar to, to Office 365 as well, um, but the collaboration ability is fantastic. Um, you can leverage these tools whether you're face-to-face -face in the same office or whether you have a member of your team on the other side of the world. Um, the power of these collaboration tools uh, are just dramatic. They, they really enable... Um, people and teams to work together on large projects or small projects in a very efficient manner so that you can see on those documents as you're going through a spreadsheet for example you can see in real time your, your partners and co-workers um, working on that same document so gone are the days of having to share documents <laughs> um, via email um, you're just sharing links these days so quite powerful um, and you know once again cdw can help you understand what are the best collaboration tools uh, for you and your business, uh, how are you going to gain the most, um, you know, effective collaboration outcomes within your business? And, uh, you know, the, like I said, there's a, there's a few tools out there, or there's a lot of tools out there, um, but which ones are right for your business? It depends on what your business, what industry you're within. Um, you know, if we talk about um, CAD, for example, for, um, you know, designing buildings or, um, or different products, you know, there's, there's multiple online tools available to ensure that you can work together in real time rather than having to send um, documents over, over a traditional email platform, for example. Right. Now, hosting your own cloud can be a daunting task, but as you mentioned, it's worth the effort and the benefits of going this route are numerous and include less cost for hosting services as well as increased security. Now, Jason, what are some of the worries that small businesses have about hosting their own cloud and how can a cloud provider help businesses migrate to the cloud? Absolutely. Uh, once again, really good question. Some of the concerns are data security, right? That's the data that you have and, and look after on behalf of the customers, your customers, keeping that data secure is, is critical. Um, and the traditional motion for that is to ensure that data is stored on premise in an expensive data. Gone are the days where you need to do that. Uh, you can have a secure tenancy within a cloud environment, um, ensuring that you know, your customer's data is protected correctly. Um, that's very easy to do in cloud these days. And, and we do this for many of our customers. We help them understand what their environments are gonna look like in cloud from a security perspective, from a cost perspective, and a scaling perspective too. Um, so data sovereignty is always, uh, you know, one of the, the key questions we talk about with our customers. Um, so the, if we look at the, the top tier cloud providers, you'll see that um, most of them, if not all of them now, have Canadian presences, so Canadian data centers, so that um, they know this is an important topic to their customers and they know how important it is to ensure that their data, uh, they can meet their compliance requirements uh, internally um, and the data is hosted within the Canadian borders. Um, so there's really great services out there. Sorry, just to pause for a sec. I don't no know worries. if, I, what was the second part of that question? The second part was, how can a cloud provider help businesses migrate to the cloud? Migrate to the cloud, sorry. I just went off on a tangent. No um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, the cloud can help customers move to the cloud and, and managed service providers and, and service providers like CDW can help um, our customers uh, understand what it looks like to move and translate 
uh, applications that currently exist on premise into a cloud native outcome or an, an outcome that you know, our customers can ensure is secure, is protected, is scalable, um, and is cost effective. So we help a lot of customers not only understand you know, how their applications can transform into cloud native app outcomes, but how those app existing applications or le legacy applications can be modernized um, to ensure that all of their compliance requ requirements are still met. Um, and that, especially as small businesses, the one thing, obviously all small businesses want to succeed. Um, so building applications in the cloud gives you an ability to scale those applications on demand, um, which is not as easy to do on premise, um, depending on how you built those applications. So once again, uh, if it, you have a very successful small business, you want to be able to scale those applications. Um, so CDW can help you migrate those applications into cloud, modernize those applications into cloud, but also understand how they're going to scale as, you, as your success grows uh, within your business as well. Now, when it comes to small businesses, it's important to maximize the technology resources and CDW can help achieve just that with the combination of solutions they offer. Jason, what type of services does CDW offer when it comes to cloud migration? And can you tell me a bit you know, about how CDW can help businesses understand their application and translate them into the cloud? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the key services we provide to many customers is what we call a cloud readiness a cloud readiness assessment or a workload readiness assessment. And what that means is that we will uh, come on board and assess the workloads or applications that you have on premise currently, or even workloads that you're wanting to build out. And we'll gain an understanding of what those applications currently look like um, on premise. We'll run some tooling to do that, but where the value comes um, from CDW's perspective is that we not only provide the tooling to assess and understand those current workloads um, so we can gain some insights in how they'll translate into cloud, we also meet with the application owners so that we can have a really solid conversation around, okay, we understand what this application does for your business, but what are the plans going forward? What's your strategy? Um, so that we can really ensure that when we migrate those workloads into cloud, um, we can also help the custom, our customers understand how those applications can be modernized, um, which is really, really critical to, um, you know, ensuring that you can future-proof your applications and services um, that you provide to your end customers. Um, ultimately, you want to ensure that your customers have the best experience. So working with a partner like CDW, we can ensure that we will help you with that migration, with the application modernization piece, and also, um, you know, how this application is going to evolve as you go forward. For, for SMBs looking to get started in the cloud, Jason, on a final note, what are your thoughts on the best way to do so? And can you offer any advice on how to ensure data security for businesses moving to the cloud? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so any small business wanting to uh, look at the cloud and understand how that will really benefit their business, I highly advise that you reach out to a, to a service provider like CDW. Um, we're available. We have many solution architects um, and the resources available to provide you, you know, consultancy um, at no cost to help you understand, look, this is where you are right now. These are the, the goals that you're trying to achieve. Um, ask us those questions. We're available. We're here for you. Um, so really make the most of those resources available to you so that you can understand, you know, you don't need to understand cloud. Let us help you understand how you can um, be successful in the cloud. Um, you know, you don't need to understand it all. Let us help you. Um, security is key, uh, as you mentioned. Uh, and security is actually, I would argue, um, easier to, to achieve, sorry, I would argue it's easier to achieve data security in the cloud than on-premise. Um, on-premise environments can get very messy and you can lose track of what you're doing there, but in the cloud, it's a lot more um, controlled. It can be automated. Visibility is easier in the, in the cloud. Um, so to be able to 
provide that sort of reassurance to your business that your customer's data is secure um, and we know how to protect it is a, is a really powerful statement back to, you know, the leadership within your, your small business. Um, so, yeah, so CDW is available to you. Um, make the most of our skills and, and uh, let us help you with your journey into the cloud. I've thoroughly enjoyed talking with you today, Jason, and I hope we can continue this discussion on future episodes. Maybe, you know, even get into some more depth around the topics of data security or best practices when it comes to moving business critical information onto cloud services like Office 365. But thank you, Jason. You were so insightful today. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Really great to talk to you. Jason is a true expert in the field of cloud technology for SMEs. He has seen what works and doesn't work when designing or building out solutions, which makes him invaluable to any company looking at implementing new technologies. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Once again, we would like to thank our exclusive banking partner, RBC, and our exclusive shipping partner, UPS, for supporting this initiative. Please do share the podcast and feel free to check out the other episodes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Canadian SME Small Business Magazine to stay up to date on all our upcoming events and get the top business insights from industry leaders. This is Maheen, your host for the Small Business Podcast.